First, we begin with the opening statements in the Curtis Reeves trial. They started today. He is the 79-year-old retired Tampa police captain charged with killing a man in a Pasco County movie theater. It happened in 2014. Investigators say Reeves shot and killed Chad Olson after Olson had been texting on his phone during the previews. It led to an argument and then an altercation. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has been covering this case from the very beginning. And Eric, today attorneys were finally able to make those opening statements in this very important case. Yeah, and attorneys had some very different takes on the way things went down on that January 13th day in 2014, Courtney. To hear it from prosecutors, they say that Reeves is a hothead, that he overreacted when Ch Chad Olson threw popcorn at him. Reeves' defense lawyers say just the opposite, that Chad Olson was the aggressor and that Reeves was just defending himself. At this time, the attorneys will have an opportunity to make opening statements after a few last motions, the jury, four men and two women, heard both sides present opening statements, laying out their cases in what's expected to be a two-week trial. This defendant shoots. Assistant DA Scott Rosenwasser told jurors in a perfect world, Chad Olson would not have been texting that day, would not have thrown popcorn at Curtis Reeves when the argument escalated. But none of that, he said, rose to the level of killing Olson, and that Reeves, a former policeman with years of training, knew it. But the most important difference you're going to learn about during the course of this trial is that one of those two individuals brought a loaded firearm into a theater and shot and killed another person after popcorn was tossed on them. And that's this defendant. That's the one. Put yourself in Mr. Reeves' seat. Reeves' defense lawyers described Chad Olson as a pressure cooker ready to pop. 28 years younger at the time of the shooting and two inches taller, Olson, they say, leaned in at Reeves. And in the darkened theater with popcorn flying, the aging former police captain defended himself from what he thought might have happened next. His training, they agreed, is a factor. He certainly learned how to assess the risk. He certainly know how, knows how to spot danger. With opening statements over, prosecutors called their first witness, Olson's widow, Nicole, who was with him in the theater that day. She described Reeves as the aggressor in the confrontation that took her husband's life, gruff and demanding. It was just rude. It was demanding. It was like it was an order. It wasn't, you know, excuse me, or would you mind, or an explanation that, you know, the light is distracting. It was just very matter of fact, you need to do this. A lot of Olson's testimony has been matter of fact about the layout of the theater, where people were situated when all of this happened, but it did start to get emotional just in the last few minutes. as she talked about their daughter, Lexi, who was 22 months old at the time, now nearly 10 years old and about watching her husband die right in front of her. You'll hear more of that testimony coming up at six o'clock.